Hey guys, Dr. Josh Wagner here, Patient Mastery. So just almost finished with the day, full of calls and talking to really good chiropractors and making a difference. And I've noticed in the past few days, now that it's a week and a half after the Patient Mastery training in Chicago, lots of notes and messages about how much easier patients are choosing to do care savings options and plans, whether it's time-based or not, doctors creating them and using them for the first time and seeing how much easier it is and getting excited like, wow, patients are going to get the care they need and I'm going to get reimbursed and paid what I deserve. And realizing that it's been so many years from having those, that pit in my stomach of giving care recommendations or creating plans because of how I was taught and instructed to give them. And I know a lot of great DCs are in the same boat as I was because I was learning from people in our profession and I was going to the main things everyone was. And whether it's a large number of visits that just felt uncomfortable to say or to have written on the piece of paper, and by the way, a large number of visits is like anything more than eight, 10, 12, even though you think that's, that's crazy what I'm saying you don't understand what patients think, what non-chiropractors think. So even if you're recommending 22, 24, 36, that's still a large number, which doesn't mean, this is important, that you can't still give that much care, you're just not writing it down, saying it, that's another topic. The point is, I was taught 85, 100, 115 different care plans, visit care plans, so I'm sure that that you can understand would be confronting, well, if you're recommending more than eight, that same level of confrontation is happening in the patients who you're showing them to. But that's not the case. The point is, I was taught to recommend numbers of visits that were like shocking, prices that were like my way or the highway. Like you have this one opportunity to do it. If you don't do it, go down, go to the chiropractor down the street who won't give you the care you need. You know, the chiropractor that doesn't really care about you. So it was very, combative, very confrontational, my way or the highway. Um, also really long, long care plans, like year-long care plans that felt overwhelming. And then the delivery of it, like locking your, yourself in the room with the patient for 45 minutes and you both come out feel like you just, sorry, got out of a wrestling match. And I remember for years, chiropractic school, even before, a pit in my stomach, like is that what practice is gonna be like? And that's my first experience with people new to chiropractic or new patients to my clinic. Like, that kind of sucks, especially for a service as beautiful as chiropractic. Like, why does that have part of it have to be so gut wrenching and stomach turning and salesy? So, here's a way to look at it in case you're not recommending plans or packages because of any of those, meaning you think the patient needs a few weeks or a few months of care or a certain number of visits, but you're not recommending it, you're not offering it um, because of all the techniques that you've been taught, all the tactics that don't sit well with you, don't sit well with me, and I've really messed with a lot of our profession. So think of it like this, instead of my way or the highway, think of it as whatever you think is in that patient's best interest, whether it's three weeks of care, three months of care, or 30 years of care. I would say that as hypothetical so you don't take it so personally or um, seriously that I'm actually saying recommend three weeks or three months. Just whatever you recommend. And don't think about how many visits go into that. Just the amount of care for this person's condition to get them to where they want to be and where you think that's responsible as their doctor that they're good. Like this isn't gonna come back in a week or two weeks or two months because you left them hanging internally of what's going on in their spine, nervous system, however you assess. What's that amount of time? And then think about how much at your a la carte rate, per visit rate, how much would that be? And then what about not just your adjustment, but what about other stuff you offer them? Like maybe your education, maybe classes, maybe at-home exercises, maybe modalities. Like what is that, ah, what is all that added up? That's gonna come out to a number, an approximate average number of care for their case over that amount of time to get them well, to get them back to their life. Now, what about offering them the ability to pay in installments or one time for less than that? So it's actually savings and 
that it's not all or nothing. It's not you're aware of the highway. It's not if they don't do that, they have to go to the chiropractor down the street who doesn't care about their health. Yeah, I've heard all those awesome scripts. So instead of thinking it's overwhelming, it's more care than they need, no. What do you feel they need over that amount of time? What would that be per visit? Why not give them a savings, a chance to break it up in installments or pay once for a savings, and it's their choice if they want to take advantage of it. How much easier is that? And it's not care plan or nothing. They can still do the per visit rate if they choose. And you're giving them an opportunity to save money. Everyone loves to save money. People, your patients actually aren't freaked out by the costs of your care. They're actually freaked out by the number of visits you recommend based on a crazy misconception in our profession thinking that you have to schedule your care based on total number of visits and patients have to understand it, agree with it, and accept it. They don't and it backfires on you if you're recommending more than eight. So if you are holding off from recommending plans or packages or you're doing them but you've got that pit in your stomach, all it should be is this is the care that's going to get you where you want and get your life back and this is a way we're doing it to save you money that's like a gift it's an offering and if they don't want to do that they can do the per visit rate so hopefully just hearing my tone and explain that makes it a lot easier for you and I know I shared a lot of things that might have caused like wait what, what do you mean about that like when I talk about getting their life back again if you're promoting your care in any other way, like x-ray findings, number of visits, symptom changes, objective change. If you're, recomm if you're recommending your care on anything else than getting their life back, you're sabotaging your income and your lifestyle. And what else did I say? If you're mentioning numbers of visits, more than eight, you are sabotaging your income dramatically. And people's perception of you and chiropractic and the trust and respect that you get in your community so you could find other videos that I do on why not to do, say those and how to do it otherwise um, but just take the tone you're giving people an opportunity you're offering them savings that's it no hard sell no my way or the highway nothing more than they need based on your clinical experience for them to get the results and their life back Hope this made a difference for you and hope to see you in Dallas. Yes, Dallas is the next one in November for Patient, <clears throat> patient Mastery Live. All right, be well, guys.